Okay. On this type of problem, ladies and gentlemen, uh, remember, we want to be looking at whenever, so far we've been practicing difference of two, or sorry, we've been practicing, you know, with our trinomials and using the acts to help us find our factors, get it to two binomials. But then we started looking at their special square, which, which we call, well, what happens if we, they don't share anything in common, but we have a binomial? Well, one of the And then I'm just going to combine this as one number squared. 7 squared times x squared is the same thing as 7x squared minus 10 squared. All right? So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we can do is we can say that's a and that's b. Right? a squared minus b squared. a is 7x as b is negative 10. Now, what does the difference of two squares tell us? Well. The difference of two squares tell us we've worked on this, we worked on multiplying special factors. So when we're factoring special factors, it's the exact opposite. A squared minus B squared, if you guys notice, there's no middle terms, right? We only have a square number and we have our constant. There's no middle terms. So what that means is our middle terms cancel out. So the difference of two squares tell us A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B. All right, because look at A times A will give you A squared. B times B will give you B times B will give you this negative B squared, and then A B and B A cancel out. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying A equals seven X, B equals ten. So, all we're going to do is plug these into this little formula to get your answer. So, you can say seven X plus ten times seven X minus ten. And when you guys go ahead and look at your problem, and if you multiply this, 7x times 7x gives you 49x squared. 10 times negative 10 gives you negative 100. And look at the middle. 10 times 7x is a positive 70x, right? 7x times negative 10 is a negative 70x. So those cancel out, right? So that's why this produces a binomial, all right? There we go.